I am standing atop uh, Rotang Pass over here at the moment. This particular vlog is going to be exceptionally crazy. Basically, a friend of mine decided that we were going to go on a short ski exploration trip. Now, I've never been on such a backcountry heavy style skiing trip and I was totally up for it. So, here we are with a bunch of friends, not too many, only the best, going all the way to a place called Paralacha at 4,900 meters. It is pretty crazy, if you ask. Before I start, I'd like to introduce you to the entire team that is with me. This Hello. is Pintu, one of the best backcountry skiers around here, taking people, a lot of experience, taking tons of people all around, all around these huge mountains that you see all around here. This is Ravi Bhai, and uh, he is one hell of a snowboarder. And the third person that we have, you might already know him. He's already been in a film that I shot earlier. And that is the cool Arun Bhai. And he doesn't need any introduction. I'll tell you more about it once we reach there. Until then, ciao. We are in the beautiful village of Jispa, which is in between Malan Manali and uh, Leh Highway. At the moment, we're staying at this beautiful lodge called Padma Lodge. It's, it's absolutely gorgeous to be quite honest. Green grass. You have all kinds of accommodation over here, right? From staying in a camp style to uh, an actual building with, uh, with really good rooms and actually another building with uh, really good cottages and stuff like that. Now, one of the reasons I started this vlog was to push myself to see where I can take my mental and physical self to. And today's vlog is definitely going to test that. Exciting, I would say it's uh, uh, better than what I expected it to be. No. Uh, so for today, you know, we don't want to go too high, so we just want to traverse around here, yeah, and then ski down to where the car can pick us up. It's really hard to breathe over here. It is about 5,000 meters, so yeah, every little, small little, you know, exertion that you do, just multiply it by like five, and that's how much you actually have to really struggle to breathe. So walking is definitely going to be a little bit of a pain in the ass, but man, if you don't push yourself, what is it then otherwise? Been walking for almost about an hour and a half. Check out the nice 360 view that we have. I mean, it is amazing. Now, how do I feel? Pintu and Arun Bhai obviously have no problem. They do this throughout the winter. For someone like me who doesn't do it every day, it is quite a challenge. And all you can hear is nothing. Just your heartbeat going tuk 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 tuk. Tuk, 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 tuk. And you see the shadows of these clouds just coming through like waves, you know, on the snow. And that's how you just keep telling yourself, all right, another 50 steps. I've just been trying to catch up with these guys. In between, you know, there were some uh, challenging slopes where it was a bit steep and hard to traverse. True. But uh, all in all, you know, 
I would say it's a fantastic day and we are having fun. I don't know, I think the obvious line is we go around here, cross this gully and then to get onto this hip on our right and then to aim towards that glacier and then maybe turn towards the right from there. नींद आ रही है मेरे को खतरनाक ही नींद आ रही है spot now straight down you can see the road out there and that's where we need to ski to I think I pushed myself a little too hard today to get to 11 <laughs> but this is it we're here <laughs> can't be more excited than this I don't have the strength <laughs> to be more excited but I am inside I really want to film this properly but I'll see what I can do guys Please bear with me. Personally for me, when I go out, you know, it's this feeling of being alone in an area where there's no one around you, you know, there's no sound and at many times, you know, you're walking up, you're reflecting into yourself and at times, you know, you don't think at all. There's these seconds, you know, I would say 10, 15 seconds when you're lost. It's just the sound of, you know, you walking up the wind blowing and you're just there and I would say this feeling you know this feeling which lasts you 10 to 15 seconds is worth dying for it's just a, a quest for this feeling and also I would say if you come into the mountains you are doing a sport like backcountry skiing it will make you more humble from inside because it shows you that you are nothing in this world you know you are having an ego or having anything a big head there's nothing around you you know you can't have that it's just you the situation around you are planning according to what the mountain is trying to tell you and ultimately the goal is to have lots of fun ski down get home safely so that you can have another day of skiing the next day or in the coming months or years